I almost say <laughs> So hi, my name is Charles Cox. I want to introduce Centrifuge Game Lab, the fastest game development company in the world. I want to start with a problem. Not everybody understands the games business. I know I, I didn't until I got deep into it. I want to try to explain it quickly from the point of view of two guys with a dream and built a team. The, today's game market is huge. You know that. Over $60 billion predicted to be over $85 billion in three years. The problem is we have tons of companies already way overspent and way inflexible. The average, the average hit title takes as high as $28 million in three years to produce. We have companies with hundreds and hundreds of people with old tech on a collapsing market. Consoles, your Xbox, your PlayStation. These are actually predicted to fall in growth patterns, 26 down to 22 percent in the next three years. In the same three years, mobile and online will be at 50 percent of this $85 billion market. What we're looking at is if we could start a group that was all in on the future, starting small, we were able to figure out a customer validated game prototype we can build for less than 13K in 48 hours. We crank these out and full versions can come out in two weeks. How do we decide which? Every prototype is instrumented with metrics. What you do for the web, and I've seen some amazing things here today, we intend to do for games. Instrument use real customer data and validation scenarios on every single prototype to determine which ones are sticky. And while it's still hot, while it's still trending, full versions in two weeks. We use the Unity engine, which is built for iPhone, iPad, Android, plus tablet, and the web. All one language, all one set of uh, 2D to 3D assets, all produced on multiple platforms with one click. What did we do this weekend? Six hours from start, designs done, we started coding. 15 hours in, first prototype done. Analytics in by 19 hours, and 21 hours we had the game that we built, our first prototype with metrics in front of customers. Playable on the web now and on the website. Let's go ahead and, and uh, run a quick demo. It's a 3D game, a arithmetic game education called Math in Space. This is what was running. You can play this on the website right now. There are two versions with multiple difficulty levels, so we can do A-B testing to figure out which one is sticky. Let's blow up the UFO. I gotta get my math right. There we go. All right, so that was what we produced in uh, 21 hours. in from the customers that use it, and Chris is going to talk a little bit about how that validated our scenario. Well, as he says, measurement is important. In an educational environment, measurement is key. Improving the engagement of the student improves the educational process. The, uh, we can measure quickly how a particular player, student, is doing in a particular day, and what and how quickly they're learning the material. This is key for feedback to the, the teachers. Measurement is key. We do that. We went out and we paid, paid the payment. Well, we had no surprises because we were lucky enough to have an educator on the founding team. Kids love the game. Parents and educators love the game for what it can do. We gathered lots of fabulous and disparate information. But most importantly, we discovered the need was real. This need that we found out through both the interviews and developing this game and getting actual feedback informed our first phase business decision. You say, production is all well and good, that's great, you can make a game. The App Store's got millions of fart apps, you're just going to get lost, aren't you? Good question, glad you asked. App Stores are oversaturated, you're absolutely right. So our first product is actually going to try to target the educational market. Why? Because we have two strength points. One, kids and parents can buy it in the App Store, and of course that's our first line. Secondly, we multiply it through grassroots promotion via fundraisers, curriculum, and grants. That way we do, they do marketing for us. 
Going beyond that, think about flexibility driving our value. Education's only the beginning. It's subscriptions, microtransactions, and more. All 48 hours of prototypes, two weeks to ship. The fastest game company in the world. Woo!